Oh shit, I forgot to turn off my phone notifications. That means if Frederick goes off. No, it'd be funny if, it, if Frederick goes off in the middle of the podcast. Excuse no. me? Oh, my my uh, ring my notification noise. Uh, like when I get phone calls and st- or uh, when I get like texts and stuff or Discord messages, uh, is Frederick saying "Pick a God or pray." Uh, pick a God and pray. Yeah. From Fire Emblem. Yeah, every time. <laughs> I fucking wow. love it. It's so good, but at the same time, it's probably not professional. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn him off. <laughs> cool, yeah. It, it, that sounds like no, that sounds that, no listen that would be that sounds like no 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 no, no. that sounds like real that's not like real uh fuck that sounds like real coward <laughs> behavior i told you but yeah no i i'm actually quite surprised that it uh <laughs> that the closet blocks so much audio uh, that that i will keep in mind for later anyway um we yes we will we will keep in mind for later but uh, uh I, I was just saying we like we. I didn't know what you were talking about. I, I was talking about how the closet blocks. We the as in like we was Kangs? <laughs> no, no, no. It's because we could both use that closet for like recording stuff, or at very least Tobol can for stuff. Yeah. If you really <laughs> want to. But anyway, welcome to this episode of the Midnight Tunes, everybody. I'm your host, the PKCB. <laughs> Yeah. Jump yeah. Uh, we we already know you already know who the fuck it is. You've been listening to this podcast. <laughs> that's that's a good start. Thanks. I'm sorry. I I just there's a lot of salt in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tobel, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm just making sure. I was just texting my boss because he messaged me something earlier. Uh, okay. But anyway, welcome to this new episode of the Midnight Tunes. Uh, of course, it's me, PK Speed. Of course, we have Pixel here, uh, getting fucked by life. There's just... And I, Tobel I, here I... in a closet, so... If I, if I was glass, I would... That's just... I, I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. I'm never, never like, heard someone so... Well, really well, it, well, Leading us into our wigs because we've. I mean, that's what we always start with. I mean, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I have taken the unconditionally fat L. <laughs> um, Sorry, we're recording right after a blow up. It's fine. Not a natural yeah. blow up, but. Literally, like, literally less than an hour before recording. Uh-huh. Um, oh, a con of that I. Certain weeks. Uh, that's what I literally said, you dickhead. Yeah, I know. Sorry, okay. I, I, sorry, I was... Go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, so, and, so about an hour ago, a friend decides that, uh, he's just gonna drop the bombshell that a con that I thought was cancelled due to COVID is actually not cancelled, and he's already there with a bunch of, of uh, my friends, a, a bunch of my IRL and they're just chilling, and I'm at home shaking and not doing much of anything because I have nothing to do. I'm bored of shit. I finished Witch Queen campaign. I, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've literally doing nothing at home. Mm. And this can, this ex, or this convention is literally the pretty much my major social outing. Like, young motherfuckers that get, like, extravagant birthday parties or whatever the fuck. This is my big social gathering. This is where I go and say, yes, I'm going to meet up with my IRL friends and go here at Waypoint to hang out. Yeah. And I miss that. And I'm missing that. For the first time since 2018, also 2020, 2021, but also those were canceled, actually canceled to go. So it doesn't count. But regardless, it's, it's a fat L for your boy. I'm pissed i'm in shambles the the only other level up expo related fat l that i've taken was when i caught uh Susie slash aka the sphere hunter uh at level up expo and they were in i think their jill caught i think they were i i knew they were cosplaying somebody but i forget who specifically i don't know but mm-hmm. But they were cosplaying, and they were out and about in the walking area. And I saw them, 
And I was like, why do I recognize them and really want to talk to them? But I didn't because I'm just, I, I didn't feel the need. And then I checked Twitter later that day and oh, look who's posting, Susie. And she says, I'm at Level Expo, come say hi to me. And and that's it. I, I, I might as well have just shot myself. Like, Oh, okay. Not like, only were you killed, your simpness was also killed. I understand. It's not even a simpness. It's just I the ability know. to meet a content creator I like that's out true. and about in the wild. Uh-huh, yeah. Like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, in, I'm, in, I'm, in the wild, huh? Okay. In the wild. In the wild. In the wild. Listen, listen, listen. If... Listen, 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 when you pl you you play this world like it's fucking League of Legends, and every time you go to a convention, you're <laughs> no. essentially do no 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 no, and every time you go to a convention, you're essentially doing jungle work, <laughs> and that's <laughs> it's where you get your buffs for the rest of the year. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> anyway. You you. you you buy you buy merch for your favorite creator at the expo. It gives you a defense bonus. You fucking I, uh, uh, you you go to go see a tournament and that gives you a fucking attack bonus because of all the salt running in people's veins after you know, like <laughs> it, it, it it going to an expo is the penultimate jungle experience and you have <laughs> and you cannot convince me otherwise. Um, mm -hmm. sorry, everything you said after that that point about being out in the wild was like a uh, like a blank honestly it kind of just merged together into something else oh shut the fuck up sorry i uh, smoked a couple hours ago so kind of recovering anyway anything else for your week other than your giant ass l um i played for destiny to the witch queen how'd that go uh, uh, it's a decent campaign. I would recommend playing it if you really want to get into Destiny. Now's a good time because it's the first week, and every week they reset. Uh, they re pretty much like reset the game, and new quests are added. You know, uh, all of your all of like the raids and stuff you can get loot on. You know, like now is the time before Tuesday when the weekly reset happens. So yeah, uh, play Destiny two. And everyone's like game bad and shit. No, like play the play the new light campaign and figure it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't don't listen to people, please. Uh huh. So Destiny <clears throat> Two is trash. Don't play it anyway. So I'm <laughs> going to personally throw you into a fucking fire pit. I'm gonna arrive at your house all the way out in fuck nowhere, dig a deep deep trench around your apartment. And grab you and throw you into it and watch you burn alive. It'd be like the episode of Aqua Teen where Shake finds a bird witch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, hey guys, there's this cool sandwich down here. The hell sandwich? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but uh, anything else? Um. Thinking. Hold on. Know, uh, uh... Watch anything lately? Uh, Cuphead show was I watched that. That was pretty good. Oh, uh, man. that technically, I, unfortunately, that go, I have not. That goes into yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, funnily enough, I actually something that I don't think we haven't covered. Um, the I forgot to edit. Ca Sorry, continue. What? Sorry, no, Sorry. continue. I'll I'll tell you afterwards. It's fun. Um, the fucking cat burglary. On Netflix. Oh yeah, or, that uh, that cartoon. Or Cat Burglar. Yeah. Yeah, the the interactive cartoon. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing that. It's endlessly replayable, essentially. Cool. But it was super good. Um, it's it's really neat. Obviously, you know, it's super basic. It's just like watching a quick episode of a cartoon, but you get I to like control. Yeah, you was, it's essentially like it gives it's like a super basic ass trivia or like gives you two options and then it gives you like a, a topic. Things that are in an Oreo or stuff that your psychiatrist says to you. Huh, that's, you know? that's neat. Hmm. I, I and if you went to... and if you answer correctly, the cat that you play as gets to beat up the dog, and then if you lose, the dog beats up the cat. Wow. And the and the extra gimmick is every time that you replay it, you get different scenarios. Oh, so it's like randomly generated. 
Semi, yeah. somewhat, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like somewhat. But yeah, I, I actually didn't know Cat Burglar was like an interactive thing. I thought it was just like a new show they were releasing. That's cool. Um, and then also Kid Cosmic. I'm trying to finish that up. I'm still only on season two. Ooh. I I was, I was going to make that the next thing I was going to watch, but I was like, nah, I'm, I'm going to watch Craig and the Creek first. Uh, I watched Craig and the Creek a while back. Oh. I I love Craig and the Creek, but also like... Uh, I don't. I don't know. There's something about it just is not resonating with me, and I don't want to watch it. I loved it, but I don't want to rewatch it. Uh, I, I just want to be uh, caught up, and luckily, Kick House Man like recently ended. So I, have I thought I was gonna didn't I was gonna say didn't Craig of the Creek end though? No, it, it it's I believe it just got a new season like a couple hmm. weeks ago. Crazy. Crazy. At least I think I, I we don't really cover like new seasons of shows on the on on this show anymore because I simply just it's not that interesting. I'll allow like second trailers of like new movies and shows coming out, but that's about it. Right, especially if it like reveals more or if like like originally got a tease. Or or or, uh, or sorry, uh, it's a new show and it's uh it's confirmed that it's getting a new second season because everyone likes hearing that they're gonna get more of this new thing that came out. So. Right. But anyway, um, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, no, not a whole lot on the animated part, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about you, Tobol? What have you done? Uh, I haven't really done too much. Um, uh, I think I finished, since the last time, I think I finished Legends Arceus. Um, I haven't done, like, uh, all the, all the Pokedex filling out stuff yet, just because I'm just... Whew, taking a minute. Yeah, it's big, juicy gam, beautiful gam. Um, and then I decided to I played through the entire, well, almost basically the entire. I beat Katana Zero, um, and that was a fun game. Uh, it, it really funky vibes, like fun gameplay. The the really more of a nitpick than anything is that it's kind of short, but at the same time, like the dude, like I've like read up on it because i i think i was bored or something and the dude said he was willing to or like he was planning on putting some extra stuff out for it so i mean that's cool yeah it, it just takes some time unfortunately yeah game development you know that, that, it, it's that's my that's my only thing about katana zero is uh it's a really fantastic game my only issue is the the end of it really gives you that feeling of uh man i need more now <laughs> i would like more would like now Mm, pretty much it, it's like uh it's like me with xenoblade 3 but at the same time i'm like oh gotta wait gotta wait for it mm -hmm. but yeah like it was fun gameplay like uh it's definitely one of those things like i don't experience it uh very often oh yeah i i like the whole the whole idea of like this whole room he just he puts on like a song and he's like hold up i gotta what's the right way i gotta do this and then and then he does yeah it. I like yeah, I like how it's like the gameplay is basically you're doing the plan and like he's reenacting it. He's like you make the plan and it's like basically just like all right, here's what I'm doing, and then you, that just even though you've done it on screen, it's like all right, and then he repeats what you did off screen. Yeah, no, it's it's really cool. I enjoy it. I find I find it hilarious. Yeah, I especially love the one where you have to be stealthy and it's like video not found, and I'm just like, yep, oh, makes yeah. sense. Oh yeah, no that that level was really hard. I actually didn't know until like a couple days afterwards that you can actually like completely sneak in that level because. Oh, I did that. I did that. It was hard. Yeah, no, it was really hard. Like, I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't as hard as some of the later levels, but it was definitely one of those things. I'm like, you're like, I remember like the first time I was about to go through it. I'm like, wait a minute, he said stealth, and then I was like, all right, I got a stealth. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's definitely like one of those levels where like. Like, I saw a lot of people who got to that second part of the level and were like, oh, I, I don't think I can sneak out of this, but you can. It's just really, really difficult. But yeah. uh, now, 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 here's the question. Uh -huh. Did you spare the reception chick? The reception chick? The the one that talks about your... The one that talked about the anime? Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah, I just, I went, I went all in both with that. Both times. Both, both times. times. Good. I mean, sure. Wait, there's an option to kill her? Well, you don't. Yes. Kill her. Wait, no. Is there an option to kill her? I thought you. Yes. Kill her runs if away. you. If you interrupt the options, you can just straight up fucking murder her. Oh no! I left her alive because I was like, hell yeah, anime shit. 
good. Because uh, I because I went with the cosplay option, and I was like, hell yeah. Hmm. Uh, good. What? Yeah, okay. Anything else? Um. See. I'm really trying to think, but at the same time, I don't want to devolve into world slash VTuber news, and I'm just like, man. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're 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 not going to talk about the current war world news at the moment. It's just you know, it it sucks. There's no way to put it. So, uh, you know, but yeah. yeah. But other than that, anything else? Just make yeah. Sure. Um, I can't. I can't really think of anything. Like um, I mean, really, that's most of what I did. I've been playing Apex again, as usual. Okay. Yeah, and you, you still haven't sent me a fucking friend request, and we still haven't fucking played. That's right. I'm sorry. To... Yeah, remind like remind me to do that. Like I'll send you my Switch friend code or whatever, and we can play sometime. I can't. I don't. I don't want to play on my Switch. I don't want to play on my. It's it's, it's crossplay, so it's fine. Hey, that's true. But... True. Okay. Yeah. Like whatever whatever thing we got to do, we can just send it over. Okay. Cause yeah. Oh, because especially since they gave out those three uh, legends too. Fucking yeah, no, like they did for the third anniversary. They gave out Watson, Octane, and Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. I'm super upset that I had already got Watson and Valkyrie beforehand. <laughs> so the only one I really got. So the only one I really got was Octane. I, didn't you get like? Uh, don't you get like some uh, character unlock tokens though? Um. Uh. So basically, for their third anniversary, they gave out Octane. Yeah. About three yeah. And yeah no. 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 Uh, I know they gave you though, but uh, if you already had them, didn't they like give you some character tokens? Um, I don't know about that part. They might. I mean, if they did, I don't remember. Uh, we don't know. Because... I didn't notice. I, I feel like that would only know with someone who already had those three characters. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, like I feel like they would have some amount of access to that server because I mean, like to an extent, like online games have an idea of like the numbers their servers are running. Yeah. And they can't guarantee that everyone's going to have those three characters, so they can automatically just give one of those three to everyone. I right. Know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Apex, yeah. I'll probably play more of that later. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for my week, uh, I've done some stuff here and there. Uh, I started watching Cricket to Creek, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, I only started on a couple episodes. I didn't watch too much. But other than that, it's a pretty solid show. It kind of gives me, uh, Clarence vibes, but more entertaining if you know what i mean like there's a lot more going on than i think for clarence which i like i like that show but i do think that like it's not for everyone but yeah uh that that's good um i don't know i i watched a couple horror movies but nothing to really mention off the top of my head at least i started watching degrassi actually <laughs> If anyone knows, uh, most people probably might know Degrassi from it's 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 the show where Drake's character got shot and became crippled. What? Yeah, uh, Degrassi is like a Canadian uh, educational. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, I I I know what I know what Degrassi is, oh, okay, my but bad. like, maybe for people I, who don't know. I I'm both in the know and also not in the know because that series is so fucking. That, that, oh. that series goes nuts. Even because uh, my friend, uh, my current friend at the moment was like, uh, just just casually going through the series, and she was like, "Hey, check out. We we should totally watch it." And I was like, "Why not? I I'm into weird old media stuff nobody talks about." Literally, I was gonna say, literally the only show that I know that has gotten as crazy as Degrassi is fucking. What's the name of the show based off the Archie comics? Oh, Riverdale. Uh, Riverdale. Yeah, Riverdale. Riverdale, Riverdale yeah. Riverdale's definitely gone off the rails. I, I might watch that sometime soon, from what I've heard. And that iPad Yeah, it's pretty it's wild. Nuts. It's nuts. Oh, God. That, that iPad 12 video went yeah. fucking hard. But, uh... For no yeah, reason. no. No, I, honestly, I, I would say that that video went hard, and then he released the Garfield one. Yeah. And then that it, overtook it, it everything. Just... Yeah, he just honestly. puts on the Garfield onesie and just, it, it's like the Elmo meme of, like, him with the fruit versus, like, him with, I'm assuming, a sugar, but potentially cocaine. <laughs> and he was just, like, he healthy, normal conversation topics about of, on a video. Uh, Garfield. <laughs> and it's just him just freaking stuffing his nose into the Garfield pile. I think what I think what hits the most about Super iPad Wolf content is that he can make the most 
normal fucking topics sound like surreal horror stories. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he, he can get away with it because he's got that important sounding voice. Like he he sounds he like He really the, does. Yeah, no, like uh Castle, like Wooly and Pat from Castle Super Beast have mentioned it plenty of times, but like he has like a really important important sounding nice voice where like he it gets your attention. And it's it's unfortunate I feel that like... some of us cannot be born the same like him. I feel like if I patch Wolf actually could uh actually wanted to, he could start a fucking cult based on anything. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Honestly, uh, if yeah. If, I feel like I mean, any, I mildly, mean, any mildly I mean, popular internet star could possibly start a cult easily. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but like John could do it easily. Listen, yeah, no, easily. L- literally, if we wanted to, if we got popular I mean, enough, I, we would start a cult. And if any of you I, do that, you I, get to me. I, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, John already technically did go in 60 seconds. I mean, true. <laughs> that's less of a cult and more. We have videos of a man slowly going crazy, torturing Wooly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, John already went crazy after fucking, uh, after, the, uh... the, after, after he invaded Wooly at the hotel. Oh, yeah, with, uh, that, what was, what was that game? It was the SNES Ninja, uh, Goemon, yeah. Yeah, going on. God, that was housekeeping. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Uh, but aside from that, I've been again, as I mentioned, I was watching Degrassi. At the moment, it's uh, the first series is Degrassi Junior High, and luckily, for, weirdly enough, Degrassi is all on YouTube. Like you can watch all the series right now for free on YouTube. I don't understand why, but they do. I, I don't know. I feel like Degrassi maybe like pits itself in like. Like a like a we don't we, we 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 share our content with everyone regardless without being paid or something kind of like a PBS thing maybe I don't know like maybe they don't get funding from TV like ratings so they're just like whatever but I I, I literally don't know because I would need to look it up more but Degrassi Junior High is surprisingly kind of solid and it tackles a lot of issues that I were not expecting for them to talk about for a kid show in the 80s like they talk about like sexuality of like f- weird feelings maybe towards like having feelings towards someone of the same gender and stuff and then they do like extreme shit like drugs or getting fucking kidnapped by like a pedophile or a molester is it is because like the show is like a fucking um because it talks about a lot of real kid issues but... yeah no 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 no, no, no. I- i'm saying that's because yeah. literally wasn't the show supposed to be like a psa or like, it's like a it's like a PSA given like extra life. Kind of, I think that is a, I think that is a good. It's like a PSA made into a teen drama. Like they 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 legitimately like go into a lot of kid problems and they handle it with like a good amount of care. Like the the big one for like the first series was teen pregnancy because one of the characters in the series gets pregnant and they they, they have multiple episodes about that and they handle it in a really a really good way. And that was like the major controversy, the controversy for the show, I believe, when it first, when it, when it was first around in Canada, because they were like, "Whoa, what the fuck? You talking about teen pregnancy? You're gonna need to yeah. back the fuck up. You need to <laughs> back the fuck up off this and, real problem." But then Degrassi was like, "No, fuck off. We're, we're no one's talking about this. We really need to." And I was like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. it was good." <laughs> Uh, yeah. I recommend Degrassi. It's literally free on YouTube. Uh, the first series is Degrassi Junior High. They're having trouble looking all that up. Because there's like a bunch of Degrassi series. And they're all on YouTube again. So some of them might like mix and mash. Mm-hmm. Because like, YouTube. Yeah, but luckily there's play uh, like playlists and stuff. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to watch more whenever I can. But you know, what else? It depends on what I'm watching. I want to watch Cuphead show like sometime before this episode, but unfortunately, I I didn't. So <laughs> when when we get mega screwed out of that due to time. Yeah. Uh. Aside from that, uh, I'm trying to think. <sighs> no, I've been playing more Legends Arceus. I haven't made that much progress, unfortunately. Um. No, that tabletop stuff. Something else. The only major thing I can really say that is uh of importance is i'm probably this uh, actually probably it'll probably be out by the time this episode comes out but i'm making a new podcast screen and like a new design for the logo for midnight dunes which i i said i'm pretty sure i said before like months ago about making a new logo but i'm actually like doing it now i'm making a new logo for yeah. midnight dunes uh, uh, uh real quick total uh, check apex check apex yeah 
Check it. My switch, my switch is out, out in the bedroom. Yeah, Randall so eats with me. Oh, I can check your switch though. <laughs> yeah. Raw. Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. My 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 week hasn't been too much because unfortunately, I kind of got stuck at a friend's house for a couple days due to all the snow we had over here literally just the other day. Like, yeah. yeah. It wasn't oh just, God, it, it, the weather is horrid. Yeah, no, it wasn't just snow. It was snow, then sleet, and then like hailing. And then more snow. So we got snow on top of ice with more snow underneath. Yeah. It was horrible trying to drive through it. Yeah. Oh no. my god. Like literally, um uh we were uh, I was trying to go to a pawn shop with one of our roommates, uh, and we were trying to pick up his PS4 and we could like we barely could get back uh because one the tire had busted. Uh one of the tires had busted on the car. And uh, when we pulled, tried to pull back in just to get the car back to safety, basically, uh, there was like three or four cars sitting around the entrance because somebody was stuck on the ice. Damn. Like, Damn. it was horrible. Yeah, no, like, it, was, it was bad. Uh, I, I didn't drive up with the snow, neither than my friend who did drive me, but uh, their, their roommate, uh, he was driving home from work, and apparently, like, he almost slid into a truck coming his way, but he's fine for them, luckily. It was it was bad. Mm -hmm. It was real bad. It was kind of nice though, but it, it was bad. But uh, yeah, no. Unfortunately, I didn't get the too much as I wanted to get done. So, yeah. That that, that and, and and now in that snowstorm, I found my enjoyment of Degrassi, and also that no, that's pretty much it. I just watched more horror movies aside from that. I I watched Scream House on Tubi, which is some weird, uh, like. It's supposed to be, like, a Saw thing, but it's instead of, like, a weird old dude who's trying to, like, torture people about morals, it's just these two girls who want revenge for getting tricked into roofing, roofing a dude and accidentally killing him, so they want to, like, torture these girls who told, uh, like, forced them into that or something. It's really, it's like a really mediocre movie. Christ almighty. I listen, like... Again, I've mentioned it multiple times, but if I could make a horror movie podcast, I probably would. I just don't have a co-host for that. At least yet. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Taps I, fingers I, on desk. It's, it's not any That's... of you. So. Not any of you, Chuckle. What do you fucking words? mean? It's, it's not if it isn't, it's not if it literally, I am always down for horror if it isn't jump scare. Horror. Yeah, no. I already, what do you mean? I already do too much with you, Pixel. You you already have two podcasts with me. Like we're not we're not doing true. That. And I am trying to get you to help me set up that fucking solo one. Yeah, yeah. And now 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 you're exposed. So uh, I don't know what. Uh, no, what is it? So it's called free advertising. Coming soon, baby. <laughs> free <laughs> advertising. Let's go. But that seems as good to be. Also, <laughs> check Twitter. Please check Twitter. Oh no! What is this? Oh dear! Uh, a brief check. Check. Check my Twitter specifically. Oh, oh no! Okay, I got a so Twitter. <laughs> is, it the, is it the regular show thing? Oh my god! <laughs> I love this. I fucking love it with the bottom of my soul. And this is true. This is absolutely them. Yeah. Oh, is it the regular show thing? Yeah. The fucking. Oh my movie. god. I, I, I love it and hate it. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, I'm probably going to make that into, well, depending on how the rest of the podcast goes, I might make that into, like, the podcast image for this episode. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, that's going to be probably the end of our week. So let's get. Let's start. Op uh, let's. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's get started with all the new trailers and announcements and all that. Uh, uh yeah, so yeah. uh first up is Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Y'all have the gall to mention Roger Rabbit, the fucking goaded in terms of using live action and 2D animation at once. Yeah. And y'all motherfuckers have the gall to not use that same sort of animation what do you with about? this film. They literally Chip and Dale Rescue Breachers. No, they're, they're literally doing that. They're, there's real people. No. In the 
no, 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 no. You say no a lot. Chip and Dale and all of the animated characters are all 3D models. Not, not, no. They, it's really weird. No. Oh, hold on. No, we, we need to explain to the audience. The 2D characters, sorry, the 2D characters for Chip and Dale are for some reason, like, 3D, 2D. Like, they have some filter over them that's supposed to be 2D, but it's not. They're 3D models, but they got, like, that fucking they cell have, shaded type they, shit. Yeah, but it doesn't look good. It it looks like... It doesn't. It like, looks yeah. horrendous. Like, I, I almost kind of wish they just regular 2D animated, honestly, like Roger Roger Rabbit. Like, yeah, if they if they had literally just done 2D animation, that would have been fine. That that's that's kind of the issue with what I that's kind of issue I have with the movie. But other other than that, I I'm actually kind of interested to see what this is because this seems so weird to do for bringing back Chip and Dale for like of all things let's make a I don't mind it Chip mm -hmm. like, like like it's a it's a very it's a mostly like un, it's a mostly like forgotten Disney franchise so I can understand them bringing yeah, it back Yeah like it, the issue isn't that they're bringing it and the issue isn't really only that they're bringing it back but they're bringing it back in a weird way that didn't like it wasn't the right, it's before a, It's not like it's not like an actual like it's not like an actual like revival. It's just yeah. them acknowledging it's their just, existence. It's just them being like, "Oh no, the characters." Like, hey, remember these back. old, long lost Disney property? Yeah, and also here's Roger Rabbit because we probably own them too now. Honestly, that was the same shit that the Smurfs did. High key, kind of. Uh, which Smurfs thing? The live the Smurfs movies. Smurfs. You know, with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, no, that that's basically. Mm, I don't. Mm, but no. Obviously, obviously the Smurfs were an actual properties in like the human world, yeah, but like, no. but uh, <laughs> no, there's actually, I feel like there's something else actually that I don't know. Maybe Emoji Movie would be a good comparison because they do exist within a thing, but I don't know. Eh, I don't think it fits with. I don't think it fits with what we're trying to like talk about. But yeah, no, but we we've seen this movie type. Like it's just weird that they decided to do this for Chippendale of all things. And also <laughs> the biggest thing for me is just why do the, like the the Rescue Rangers two D style, but not actually two D. They're in like a weird. It's bad it's, it's it's really fucking strange. It's just it's really <laughs> weird, but. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it will actually be good. It'll be premiering this May on Disney Plus. So. Well, uh, that's a for your own. That's a buy your own caution type shit. <laughs> yeah, so. that, that, that's mm -hmm. one of those. Expect ex, expect nothing. <laughs> expect um, nothing. Expect I, nothing. Uh, uh, expect uh, nothing no, 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 and no. everything. Right. Well, well, okay. Well, I was gonna say we should talk about the third thing after this, but now let's do the second thing. Oh, no, you sound, um, you sound like you're going to say a, a bad take. I uh, no, it's the it's the third thing, and the third thing is uh, it's not a hot take. It's just a ooh, we'll, we'll get it's, to it. Anyways, uh, bad guys, oh, new this, trailer. This is this is the episode where we get canceled thanks to Pixel. Anyway, no, <laughs> man, no, think think my think Fallon Wonderworld. Uh, complaining part two. That that oh, did not boy. get us canceled. Everyone was shitting on Fallon at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I know, and and that's what I mean. Anyway, um, oh, oh, you saying that you didn't? Okay, but first we'll talk about second trailer for Bad Guys. Um, looks real good. It actually, I don't know why it not only is like supposed to be like a heist movie with like multiple characters, but it like. Character design wise, the three D actually kind of reminds me of like a three D Lupin. Honestly, it doesn't look like the actual three D Lupin thing we got recently. But like, if it was a more cartoony style, I could totally see Lupin. If, if, if like if like Lupin was made in the West, it's like Lupin made by different people. Yeah, that that's basically yeah, kind of looks that's like that's quite possible. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, uh, I I'm interested in this because obviously you all know why. Anyway, and. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I, there's a really there's a joke I can make right now, but oh, about, you know, oh, like, I, I'm like basically a furry. No, about the thing you're supposed to do because you're a furry. The thing you've been t trying oh, to do. Oh, are you talking about the fucking B stars review? I'm yeah. not. Yeah. Listen, there's I'm not a... doing that right now. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. But when? I'm gonna I, keep I berating know. you about this so you can do this so I can hand you your L. I, I, oh my God. I literally handed myself the L, so like you just keep you just keep trying to shove it back in. 
No, Correct. No, I already know this. I'm so tired. <laughs> that, that the Beastars the Beastars review will come out. Um, with Pixel Dot. Twenty X. So... <laughs> oh, okay. All right, fellas. BRB. <laughs> God damn it, I swear to God. If I find out you killed yourself, I'm going to be so pissed. You hear a gunshot in the distance. You just hear a gunshot in my mic. It's really muffled. I just get a chill feeling, and I'm like, that motherfucker. I'm going to bring you back as a ghost and make you go back on the podcast. <laughs> I can haunt your computer, it'll be great. Yeah, anyway. I can mm -hmm. I can root for I can root for all your files and post them online and get you finally cancelled. Finally. The penalty of My files? What do you mean my file? I, I don't have any files that would get me cancelled. Uh huh. Uh, that's a lie. No. Everybody has files. A hundred percent. None of my files would get me cancelled. Uh huh. That's what they all say. Yeah. That's what they always say. I mean, there's, yeah. there's weird stuff there, but nothing to cancel me. Just to be like, wow, Vinny, I didn't know you were into that thing. And I'm like, yeah. It's like the chances of being murdered by a cow. Listen, my, listen I, I have the grand power to spin anything, so anyone hates whatever the fuck it is. I don't. So. Yeah, they're going to hate all this Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Anyway, um, yeah, the <laughs> see, new trailer. See, 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 see. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, no, new trailer. But, uh, yeah, no, the the new trailer looks really good. I'm excited. It comes out on it, April 22nd. It, yeah. Uh, maybe I should uh, read the. Maybe I should read the book. I don't know. It is there's a book. book. It, it it's based off a book apparently. Oh wow. By the same name. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, I I've seen it here and there, but like I've never actually read it, so. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, either, uh, either way, I'm excited. Uh, congrats, furries! You get a, another, another a person. new DreamWorks film. You get Woo! a new DreamWorks film that's clearly catering to you. So good job! Woo! Everybody, give it up to uh. Film Thirteen. I. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You lot are insufferable. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> the furries and their fursuits. Give it up for Bill 13. Bill 13. Just ringing the cowbell just with their opacity fucking. Oh, that reminds me. I saw this video of like, I don't know what event it was. It was some furry thing, but there was this video oh. of some dude in a fursuit getting fucking slammed into a table by a dude all as like a, like. They, they were all like showing everyone. It's like, hey, everyone, check this out. It was great. But, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, DreamWorks Bad Guys looks good. Uh, next up yeah. is Proud Family Louder and Prouder is now streaming on Disney Plus, which I have uh, unfortunately haven't watched yet. But I it looks it fucking movie. terrible. What are you talking yeah. about? It looks great. It Okay, the art style looks great. The animation is terrible. No, I yeah. Uh, okay, no, uh, I saw it the like the, the like the trailer of like, oh hey, it's out now. Here's some stuff of it being out, and I'm just like, huh. Like I could, if like I was so confused with what I was seeing just in a trailer alone that I was like, wait a minute, this is new. One second. It feels gonna... so. It feels so computer generated. Because it feels yeah, so... I mean. Did you yeah, obviously no, I, I, no, no, no. I, and not like and not like sorry. not like in the sense that and not like in the sense of it looks like an AI did or it looks like like soul as workers did. No, it looks like the person was new to the program. I don't like I, I, I don't know. It feel it, it feels unnatural. Like I, the art style. Like I said, the art style looks nice. It's a really good like adaptation of the old style. Like. Oh, my Lord. It's don't look good. Uh, the, the only animation I've seen of the show is the intro, which, it looks fine to me. I, I see, I, I look up, look up, a, look up a clip. Just look up a fucking random clip. Look up uh, a random I'll, clip. Because the intro don't do shit. The intro never means shit for an intro. I don't know or if that's true. Animation. Intros hardly are a reflection of the actual product. Yeah. Because sometimes it can be where they put all the money. True, but, uh, let me see. I'm trying to find a random clip of it, but I'm just finding random videos of people doing whatever I, it's people being like excited for the show or whatever okay the reason why i don't like it so much is because it just feels so unnaturally fucking smooth unnaturally. and it like and it, and, it, and it still has like that jitter like they're trying to replicate the old shows animation where it was like kind of jittery and didn't like 
it went back when everything was still running 30 uh, and I, I, and they want to make it look like it's still running 60 know, and 30 I know at the same what time. you mean but i also don't see the issue i maybe i just kind of expected this because i when i saw the, uh, the the art style change i was like yeah no it's gonna be digital and it's gonna use it's gonna use rigs and shit probably it kind of reminds me of uh what was it not it's I, just I, I was gonna say the new animaniacs but i don't know if that's a fair comparison i i do get what you mean because now i'm seeing like a full clip of a scene and i'm like oh yeah but i i don't really see an issue with it per se it's just you know it's just a different animation style slightly <laughs> I guess it just hit me harder. And, and I'm just and not a fan of it. Maybe it's just because. That's all right. It, it's just, oh my you know, gosh. The like. It, what? Like, it's, it's, I uh, so I pulled up a clip of louder and prouder, and I guess it's Oscar freaking about about some shoes that uh Penny uh the the main the the main girl's Penny right? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, about her wearing some shoes that her mom has, and then uh, he pulls out and he like is you know fatherly complaining about it. And then he pulls out a little tiny box and just pulls out a, su a whole ass suit of armor from it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh my god, it's hilarious! It's oh my god, this looks hilarious. This is hilarious. Yeah, but uh, I am interested in watching it because I I haven't seen anybody's first impressions aside from Pixel here, so I am a little bit interested. <laughs> Uh, also, the fact I, that I he kinda, I have to because of obvious reasons, but yeah. Dude, the fact that he pulls out a suit of armor out of a little itty box that you can put a wedding ring in is amazing. Yeah. Listen, bro, them vow, the vows are day, the the uh doing your wedding vows was danger back in the day. I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Anyways. But yeah. Uh oh my god, I did not mean the burp. I'm so sorry. Uh other than that, uh the new the cup of shows out on Netflix, which like I mentioned earlier, unfortunately I didn't get to watch because of all the goddamn snow going around and shit. It's uh it's pretty good. Snow. It's pretty legit. Uh yeah, I heard it's pretty they, good. It was a good ad it's a good ad it's a good modernization and adaptation of rubber hose cartoons. Yeah. While also still paying homage to the game that it was trying to do. Without like being direct about it, like you'll, uh, like they have like the root pack in one episode, and then Ribby and Croak are like doing business deals. You know, you'll see characters from the show in like very different lights yeah. because you didn't really get a whole lot. You didn't get to see a whole lot of their character in the game, so yeah, it's like they were just good fleshing out. Bosses. Very creative bosses, yes, but. Also, the devil was really nicely played. The Kel voice cast was really yeah. Good. No, the I I haven't seen it, but I have seen the uh the clip where the devil appears and sings that song. I was like, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I was like, yeah, I can't wait to watch it, and then didn't watch it. <laughs> See, it's not to watch. <laughs> but I'll I'll definitely watch it before the next episode of the podcast for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of in for that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it sucks that we only got, and, and this is kind of spoilers a little bit, maybe. We only get to see Miss Chalice for like one episode, and it's like not even for that much of the episode. And I'm assuming they were just trying to set her up so we get to see her for next season. Mm -hmm. But like, god damn, you, you put her in the trailer and then don't show her off in the actual season. Like, what the fuck? God, that reminds me mm -hmm. of uh, that. That reminds me, it was like the same problem I had. Oh, I'm missing it. Uh, I, it reminds me of the same problem I had with Smiling Friends, where, uh, fucking Alan, Alan and Gleb didn't really get much, like, they only got, like, one episode to themselves, and they, like, for the rest of the, the rest of the season, they didn't get anything else. Right. Like, they're kind of uh, like, in the uh, background, that's kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk both situations up to them just trying to set things up, yeah, that, so that, people that, that's what I in garner so, interest. Like, it's just... Like, yeah, it's season, quite possible. Uh, yeah, it's just the first season, they want to set things up, and they're just, you know... But yeah, other than that, uh, I'm excited to watch that whenever I get the chance. Also, yeah. please go listen to the. Honestly, I won't lie. It's super short and sweet, but like that intro theme kind of bangs really hard. Yeah, I know. It's good. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, other than that, uh, up next is Jellystone is actually getting his season two. Like, it's kind oh of been a goodness. bit. Of, it was kind of. Kind Jelly. Of like, I Jelly Jellystone. <laughs> Jellystone is such a fucking enigma to me because I recognize that it exists, but it keeps like wandering out of my peripheral, only to come back with some weird ass shit. Yeah, um, <laughs> like it's... for 
for me, I, I watched the first season like a couple months ago, actually, when it first came out, and I fucking I actually really liked it. Not only because I I, I kind of like Hanna Barbera, and I kind of wish they used their characters more outside of like Scooby Doo and mm-hmm. actually I'm pretty sure that's kind of it. I don't even think they use like Flintstones and stuff that much anymore. Yeah. Except for those weird wrestling movies that they released years ago, I I didn't get yeah. it. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember. But uh, yeah, uh, Jellystone's finally getting sixty two. We we also did get a Halloween special. Actually, it, I completely forgot about that came out. But it's been a while, and I'm excited that they're getting a season two because I actually really like Jellystone. It's 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 funny in that way of that everything is so fucking unnecessarily chaotic, and I'm like, oh yeah, I love Yogi Bear, and then he fucking people elbows a child, and I'm like, nice. Yeah, the people's elbow. It's great. The most the most I know about Jellystone is that there's this pink cat girl who's virtually insane and everyone's kind of simping. Oh, so it's, it's oh, Choo Choo, Choo Choo, uh, yeah, from uh, Top Cat. Yeah, because yeah, they uh, did gender flip some of the characters. Yeah, no, they gender flip some of the characters like Jabberjaw, Choo Choo. I forget the <gasps> Jabberjaw got gender flipped. Yeah, no, yeah. Jabberjaw's a girl now in uh, Jellystone. What yeah. the fuck? I know yeah. um they also gender flipped uh Oggy oh, Doggy. And uh, what? I I actually Who said to... no, no 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 Who sentenced me to this fall of the void? <laughs> what the fuck? What does that mean, Pixel? Does that imply you're gonna I... sim for characters in Jelly soon? No, it means that I'm falling into an endless void as everything I know about reality crumbles into dust. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> only other thing I know about uh, the show is I believe it's made by... Uh, I think the, the, the main director for the show is... Uh, I forget his name. It's I believe his last name is Greenblatt, but he's the creator of Chowder and Harvey Beaks. Oh, fuck, I forget his name now. Uh, I oh. know his last name's Greenblatt. I just forget the first part of his name, unfortunately. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have we have a lot of news, so we're gonna go up to the next one right now. But uh, get excited for season two. It's coming out March seventeenth on HBO Max. Uh, next up is fucking Arthur, the Arthur series finale. Which <laughs> bro, 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 they 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 turned they turned Arthur into a Nintendo YouTuber, yeah, bro. No, no, I, they, they did. They turned him into Peter Butter Gamer. Like it's. It's fucking nice. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. And then they also fucking made oh I forget her name right now. Uh, um his sister. DW. Oh, they, they made, made him into a police cop. officer. They turned DW to a fucking cop, bro. I, 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 I saw it was some post. I think it was like a screen cap of some 4chan post. It was just it gets pushed fucking once, becomes cop. <laughs> gets punched yeah. once, becomes cop. Yeah. I saw th- I saw the funny joke of like the episode where she can't read except it's like some sort of like like formal legal document and it's her and it's her as a cop saying this is uh, good news uh, something or another like I can't read or whatever. Or like this doesn't <laughs> stop me. This because I can't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> it can and now that she's older, she said now she can just be like this can't stop me because I have a warrant now. <laughs> Hands on your knees. <laughs> <I have> a... <laughs> this can't stop me. Pulls out police. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the Arthur series finale kind of ends. I didn't watch the whole episode. It just I don't know what happens to all the characters. The big thing is the series ends with uh. Arthur's adult self becoming a a, a published author, author, and he writes the Arthur book. Oh wow, that's Inception right there. Yeah, which is kind of nuts, but yeah, that's that's cool. It's it's kind of charming. You ever just create yourself? <laughs> you ever it's, just act? You ever just accidentally paradox? Uh, <laughs> it's it's the uh, without actually it, doing time it's travel. That epi- it, no, it's that episode of Futurama where F- uh, Fry has sex with his like his his grandma in the past because he accidentally killed his grandpa, and then he what? does it. Yeah, and he does it vanish because it means that he was always destined to fuck his grandma <laughs> in the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Futurama was great. I love it. Die. Uh, but yeah, no, uh it's it's kinda sad to see that Arthur's gone, but hey, it had a good twenty I think twenty five year run. Twenty year run? It might be no, no, it might be twenty five. A decently long run for sure. Below thirty, I know this. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, uh, that that's cool. And last up for new releases and stuff, it's a new tra- It's the official trailer for The Boys Diabolical, which is a animated anthology taking place within the universe of The Boys. The Boys. I, I, I okay. I think I might have been half asleep seeing the trailer for it because oh. I saw it. And I thought there was a fucking invisible baby. And I was about to say, and I was really about to get that fucking picture of, is that a motherfucking JoJo reference that put it underneath? Shut the fuck up, you fucking, yeah. But uh, actually, uh, when I, I, I wasn't expecting this actually to be, be an anthology, but hey, that's cool. I'm always, I'm always interested in watching anthologies. And luckily, I actually am caught up with the boys because my roommate was watching the series. Oh, well, you back. should, you should fucking give me access so I can watch that it's shit. It's not my Hulu account, so I can't. So uh, fuck you. Uh, uh, Amazon Prime, my bad. Uh convince. <laughs> Use your charm, boy. Yeah, and your charm <laughs> failed. It wasn't that one. Now you're off the podcast. That's how bad you rolled. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> it was pretty cringe. It was pretty. <laughs> Imagine that. That's amazing. But uh, okay. finally, we'll get into the actual news stories because that that's pretty much the last thing we have for new stuff coming out and all that. Except yeah. for you know some of these major stories, I guess. Some of these major wild wacko stories. Yeah, these fucking mm-hmm. wacko. Also, uh, I didn't add it to the stories, and but the reason why I I I. I, 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 uh, earlier in the episode, I kind of freaked out, is, I forgot to mention last episode, but we missed a story that came out a little bit ago, but unfortunately, the HBO Max, uh, HBO Max was, uh, gonna make a new Boondock series with this really cool art style, but unfortunately, <coughs> they have halted production on it. No! Yeah, it's oh. very saddening, too. I, I really meant to add this in the I'm... previous episode, but it slipped my mind, unfortunately. I... Fucking, I want Boondocks back. Boondocks, Boondocks back. would be amazing. Yeah, no, and the, the, back. the art that they revealed for that project was really cool. It looked really nice. Oh, uh, really nice. Like, why you know, do you have to keep pairing on me with this terrible news, man? Uh, because, uh, <coughs> oh boy, I don't know. I really got nothing else. No, well, you know life what? You know what? You know, life, life comes in many ways. Unfortunately, it doesn't have to be happiness. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I say to that? Fucking. Among Us! <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> scared the fuck out of me. Fuck you, Pixel. Nobody expects Among Us. Nobody expects Among Us. Anyway, hashtag fuck Pixel. Let's get on to the stories. Uh, so you're telling uh, me you weren't expecting Among Us? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna start with something fucking stupid. But apparently, Peppa Pig is on the list of uh, Kanye way uh, Kanye West has beef with. <laughs> That's basically that. Oh god, it it all started with Kanye West doing worse than that one Peppa Pig track. <laughs> That's right. That's the reason. Like they like legit the fact that like the Peppa Pig social media did a call out post basically was just amazing. That like made that like area of time. Oh, finally. In these harsh times, this is what we need. Peppa Pig fighting Kanye West. Who will be Bruh. the best musician? Oh man, it finally, makes me think, a of, true, it makes me a think of the Infinity War. Yeah, it makes me think of the crazy internet world where, uh, for some reason, Lucina Fire Emblem is, like, her greatest rival. <laughs> no, no, H- how this has got to end is Kanye West is fucking uh, Armstrong, and Peppa Pig is right in, in M- Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and, he- and Peppa Pig's punching Kanye West. Sorry, oh my God. No, Kanye West is punching Peppa Pig, and it's just standing here. <laughs> I real <laughs> You're assuming Peppa Pig doesn't win in this argument. Yeah, that's why I replaced it with Kanye West punching Peppa Pig. Because Peppa Pig is a better musician than uh, Kanye West. Yeah. That plus is just considerably funnier because, yeah. Yeah. Because oh. I think I remember his album at the time was kind of mid. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't listen to enough. Music. I wouldn't be able to either. Hence why I said I can only assume. I would be shocked if you did, though. That'd be really funny. Yeah. That's why. 
Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, uh, fuck Peppa Pig uh, or fuck Kanye West. Uh, hashtag which one you join, honestly. Uh, uh, I, I, I have to I have to back whatever one Baku backs, and well, you you already know he's going after Yeezy, so <laughs> so it's gonna be like Twilight. Are you are you on Team Peppa or Team Kanye? <laughs> Oh my uh, god. Better love no, story than no, better love story no. than Twilight. <laughs> better love story no. than Twilight. Oh, finally. The the last movie is just an army of pigs versus famous It's pigs. Ba- no, it's going to be it's going to be an army of pigs versus Baku using Kanye his stand. <laughs> yeah. You don't remember that episode of Baku? Fuck, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um yeah, uh Peppa Pig fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here so much in the year. I hate you so much. I hate you. <laughs> no, okay, so, 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 uh, fucking my I, uh, voice mod, my sound, where I host my soundboard, uh-huh. uh, now has a, now has a, uh, phone companion app, so now I can fuck around and use my soundboard on my, with my phone. Fine. Nice. We reached three. It's... We finally have sound effects on the podcast. This is what everyone wanted. That's what everybody yeah, paid my... for. And also, uh, open invitation to YouTube. If you guys send me sound files, I'll add them to my soundboard. Yeah. And, I... uh, and use them whatever you want. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I got, a, I got a sound file you can play on the episode of the podcast, and it's just it's them yelling at the heart. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! And Pixel's just well, like, Pixel's just I mean, like, I I mean, I do still have. <laughs> no, 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 still... no, no, no. And then Pixel's just like, well, uh, I have to do it. I have to do it for the fans, I guess. So uh... for the fans. <laughs> uh, Goodbye, everyone. This is hey, the last everyone. episode you're ever gonna hey, see. Hey, everyone, welcome to the last episode of the Midnight Tunes. And then me and Pixel <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And then you just spam the button. <laughs> you spam it. <laughs> And then in that moment, you're just and then and then in that moment, we think you've no, 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 everything. No. I'm just like I didn't even record yet, so I don't know. I've, I've, no, 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 no. Like how how America or how like the American president holds like the big button that a uh, host where all the nukes are that watch the nukes. Oh, God, I host. I, I I I host. Not even that. It's just the the meme of like, oh yeah, the president's yeah, no, big I, button I, for nukes. Yeah, I know. Uh, mm-hmm. I I I have that big. I had the big red button where it's the PewDiePie N word clip. Oh my god! <laughs> no. I... Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh no! 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 What a fucking! <laughs> Did I just fucking end the podcast there? Well, luckily you would do all that, and then by the end when you're done, I would have been like, I haven't even recorded yet, so. <laughs> I don't know what your point was. Or or that I'll have been recording error and you couldn't even hear me the entire episode. Dude, OBS shot itself to make sure this episode didn't come out. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, uh next up in the news is of course one of the, the big thing everyone saw on social media, but uh fairly odd fairly odd parents, fairly odder, a uh a new live action show based off the uh fairly odd parents. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's watching them try to beat the ever-loving crap I, I out think, of this I, already I, I, dead cash cow. I think as a you, I think as a unit, we can all come to agree that Fairly Odd Parents definitely is a show that fell the fuck off. Oh, oh yeah, yes. oh yeah, for real. Too. It it fell like honestly, what I've heard for, uh, like a kind of a general consensus is that it was like the beginning of the fall when they introduced poof and then it just they continually started coming up with worse and worse ideas not only did it go down like a it, it went downwards in quality like it kind of scaled towards there and then there was key moments that like shot it more and more down like then they added the dog and then just shoot it more down and then they introduced chloe and then there's that live action those two live action movies with uh drake bell <laughs> Yeah, well, I think they introduced, they made the live action, the first live action before, movie yeah. before, yeah. yeah, before Poof even, I think. Uh, maybe around Because I don't remember Poof in the first live action movie at all. He, he wasn't in there, but, uh, I don't Yo! Know. Tariq just posted the high, high, puffy, I'm Yumi, let's go! What? 
Uh, Terrific Tariq posted his retrospective on Hi Hi Puffy on Yumi, that, oh, that, yeah. uh, that Cartoon Network show. Yeah, yeah no, I, that I, know, I, know the, I show. no, I know the show. I just didn't hear you talk about Tyreek. Yeah. Let's go. He, he's great. Terrific Tyreek is the coolest anime, animation YouTuber. So, like, way better than us. I don't know why you're listening to this podcast so you could be watching his videos. So Clearly. Clearly. Mm-hmm. But we, we do appreciate that you're listening to us anyway. You can probably listen after this episode. Anyway, uh, yeah, no. Uh, this They released a trailer for this live-action show, and it looks it, it, it looks terrible. There's no other way to put it. It is kind of amazed. I am kind of amazed how much they've beaten the horse of that is very little parents. I didn't know they can go even further. No, you yeah, fucking, you knew they were gonna fucking do this shit. No, I what? did. No, I did not. I wouldn't like. I already, everybody already, it's butch. Here, it's here's, butch. Fuck. No, no, no. It is butch. Fucking Hartman. I don't think he has anything to do with this. He didn't. I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything with those live action stuff. Those previous live action movies. It's just Nickelodeon owns Fairly Odd Parents. They could just make more. They don't need Butch Hartman. Same thing with Cartoon Network and how they were able to uh, bring back Powerpuff Girls without Craig McCracken. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, like, that. the creators don't own their shows. The channel does. Unfortunately. Yep. Okay, uh, that's he... fair, but, yeah. like... But I... No, the reason... I wasn't <laughs> expecting this because they already tried live action, and it was... Terrible. And it was gross. They've made it worse. <laughs> they, it they've was... somehow made it even worse. How do you fuck up? How do you become worse? How do you fuck up? how do you lower the ball on something that's already horrible? You lowered the ball where no one thought you could lower it to. <laughs> like this ball has dropped so far. No, no, how no, the no. hell? I'll, 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 no, I'll tell you what happened to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, since I've been playing Elden Ring, the ball went down to fucking Blight Town. That's what fucking happened. Oh, sweet Christ! <laughs> it fucking went. The ball rolled down there, and then all those dudes shooting the fucking toxic shit at you. It just—they're waiting. They're like, come, "Come on, get the ball." I, 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 I don't see why you're not coming down here. It's, it's great. Oh, uh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder is probably gonna be trash. I'll, I'll make sure we'll watch uh, it when it comes out on March 13th, uh, March 31st on Paramount. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, speaking of more, more shit that comes to the foreseeable future, uh, basically there was this, just a long ass tweet about some of the new stuff Paramount's gonna be doing soon in like the next couple of years, and one of them was confirming that they are gonna be making a Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie before they even release the second movie. <laughs> Yeah, it's great to see that like the Sonic movies are do are planning to do so well. So what I'm hearing is Sonic Cinematic Universe. Bro, I feel I feel like the SCU. I feel like there's. <laughs> Gosh PK. darn it! Gosh darn it, Vinny. PK. <laughs> PK. We can we can get a Rouge movie. PK. Gosh. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? No, no, no. No, shut the fuck up. No, shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. No, let me finish. No, you're gonna just shut up. No. Okay. No. 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 Anyway, hold on. No. 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 Fuck you. Uh. Anyway, what happened? What? What? My idea is they're gonna make. They're gonna make. Uh, they're gonna make like Sonic Hedgehog, like one, two, three, and then they're gonna make a movie series called Sonic Adventure. Or anything, I don't have that power here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. I muted you, but anyway, uh, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> dickhead. Wow, you know what? What are, what are these? What are these days? I'm actually gonna make good on one of my threats, and you're not gonna know which one, and then you're just gonna have to live in fear. And then I'm, gonna, and live, and then I'm gonna continue living with my life as nothing. You changed. gotta have to twamble. Oh no. But uh, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog oh, no. three. I'm excited. Uh, I hope we get more Knuckles rather than the rest of them, best of them. Yeah, they. I feel like they have to do like specifically a more Knuckle centric movie, just because. I mean, I I'd hope so. I I because I'm... if like I I mean, there's that big part of me that knows that they probably aren't since they're introducing him in Sonic two. Then, but who, the... who do you think they would introduce in three? If if, if I anyone... feel like I feel like. 
out of all of the characters, most likely, uh, because it can't be Eggman, obviously. He's already here. I feel like they're going to do uh, some Space Colony arc shit, and we're going to get Shadow. Maybe? No, I, I feel like we're going to get... I No, no, I feel like we're going to get Metal Sonic first, honestly. I feel like Metal Sonic and Shadow will probably be within, like, the okay. same movie for some well, reason. My, my, no. my, my, I, I, actually, I am kind of with Pixel more on this one, is I feel like maybe Sonic Fever would be, like, Sonic CD, where they'll introduce Metal Sonic. Right, because I feel like they would go after, like, the OG, uh, yeah, the OG and Knuckles games Knuckles can first. be there, too. Possibly. Knuckles possibly, there possibly. Too, because Knuckles can just join any adventure. It's fine. <laughs> No, what about, what about no, no. What about it? <laughs> what about it? It's a fucking rock. Who's gonna pick that shit up? Literally, literally the beginning of Adventure Two. Don't even. <laughs> literally the beginning. Literally of... the beginning of Adventure Two is Eggman tries to steal Master Emerald. Knuckles no, smashed. it's Rouge tries to steal the Master Emerald. Knuckles no. tries to stop Rouge while they're no, bickering. No, Eggman I'm... poops it, and Knuckles no, says, I'm... "I ain't having that shit." And he breaks no, it. No, I'm not. Yes. I'm not letting. I'm not letting you two horny fucks talk about Rouge and the fucking. I'm not Sonic horny. Film. I'm just saying. About, we're just casually it's... talking about Rouge, not even in a horny sense. You're the only one having saying this. Yeah, I was talking about Sonic Adventure too. Uh, no. I, what I'm, is I'm this pixel? You just tweeted out man roasted PK speed. Don't even you fucking simp. You replied to that one tweet I quote retweeted was like this could be a mess. <laughs> you fucking yeah. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> yeah, what about it? I can still threaten you. I can still threaten you and simp. There's a oh, there, yeah, that's you possible. You sure threaten me. Oh, oh no. Lou threatened. I'm so threatened. Anyway, uh, but yeah, no Sonic Three is coming out apparently. At some point, at least after Sonic 2, so we, yeah. we don't Didn't, know. Wasn't that. there also talk of like a Knuckles sideshow or something? Uh, I think so. I unfortunately did not like go super in depth into the post because it was a little. I I, I didn't care that much. I all I saw was Sonic <laughs> 3's coming, and I was like, cool. Mm. But if there is gonna be a Knuckles show, then I I, I like Knuckles a lot, especially yeah. Features <laughs> play Knuckles. But, yeah. Excuse me. Like, I mean, shoot, just, like, the little bit of, like, Knuckles we got in the trailer is already amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I, lo I love corny, goofy kind of Knuckles, but at the same time, like, he is, like, the serious guy. Because he has, like, unlike Sonic, who just is the freewheeling guy who does whatever, Knuckles actually has responsibilities. Yeah. And I he, may not, he may not, like, always physically do them because, you know, games. But, I mean, he has responsibilities. Yeah, uh, but th that was always the thing. That was always the thing I knew I didn't like. Like modern Sonic games doing was like, man, Knuckles is always just kind of there. He doesn't even really mention Angel Island or the Master Emerald anymore. Mm -hmm. just like, why are you here, Knuckles? You have more important things to do, honestly. <laughs> Knuckles, you have a job. What are you doing here? Like, <laughs> won't you get fired? <laughs> How did you get fired by an Island, Knuckles? You fucking idiot. But yeah, no, uh, Sonic Cinematic Universe, I can't wait. Uh, maybe we'll get, like, a Chaotix spinoff show. Oh my god, oh, if they introduce perfect. Team Chaotix, if they introduce Team Chaotix, I will scream, because I love Team Chaotix Yo, so much. Actually, like, man. oh my god, they are so dumb, I love them. Oh my god, like, Team Chaotix joining up with the, uh... Like, you don't know how happy I was when I saw a random Sonic X episode and Team Chaotix was in it. And I was like, oh my god. I think I remember the episode, too. I remember getting hyped I also, because I, I was, like, I, I was playing Sonic Heroes. I think the random episode I saw was, like, when they were in space, so I think it was, like, one of the last seasons oh, I saw. Oh, that was the last season, because that was, um, that was Metarex. Yeah. Saga. Yeah. Yeah. Like... Oh, but I I love Team Chaotix so much just because they're big dumb goofballs. I love them. Yeah, they're the comedic relief team. I, I yeah, like them. I just don't you've like, got. I just don't like playing their route in Sonic Heroes. Suck oh yeah, no, they're in Sonic Heroes. Oh god, it's pain. But at the same time, it's like you got big dumb music himbo. Yeah. Uh, inner uh, freaking overly excited energy energy friend, and then you have the serious one. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it! It's it's we we are Team Chaotix. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Are you the, so you're Vector, obviously? 
you I, I don't know who would be the serious one none of us maybe you yeah i guess me I guess just because i don't know I'm i sorry? guess sorry <laughs> So, After all, I've done. So, so After Pixel's, all, I've sacrificed. So, so, so that means Pixel's charming. Yeah, Pixel's charming for sure. <laughs> Pixel's After all, I've sacrificed. I'm so <laughs> um, sacrifice. Uh, all of this just become Charmy the Bee. <laughs> After all of this time, I finally made it to my goal in life, and then life was like, "Nah, Charmy." Yeah. <laughs> what if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said, <laughs> "Charm me the bee." No, said, you charm me the bee. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Team <we> Chaotix. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we we truly are the Team Chaotix of the Midnight Tunes podcast. Yeah. I'm. We love you, Pixel. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we uh, appreciate you. <laughs> anyway, so that great Sonic non sequitur. I guess we should probably trans transition to the next thing of story. Uh, um, actually, before we go, we we won't go to directly to the next what? thing. We could save that for but last. You can't so. do this to me. <laughs> I started this company. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much I sacrifice. <laughs> oh, that fit. That fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes um but uh we'll, we'll first talk about the john dimaggio thing first and then we'll talk about the yeah Kickstarter. But, uh, <clears throat> next up on the news john dimaggio voice of bender and many other many, many other famous characters uh and uh, it's uh made a long post on his twitter saying that he won't be coming back for the hulu revival because he what was it? Uh, it uh, he, among like various other of his, you know, coworkers, are just yeah. being severely underpaid, yeah, like yeah. all animated voice actors do. Actually, I believe, uh, since we were talking about the Sonic movies earlier, I believe the voice actress for Tails also. Yeah, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, or however yeah, it's pronounced. Because she is the she's the only like voice actor for the Sonic Two movie, where Sonic and <laughs> well, no, no, Sonic and Idris Elba. That's <laughs> Sonic and Idris Elba are recast to like, more, like you know, more to, uh, like on-screen actors. And... Figures, like I wouldn't like like, like more actors that are based like there's more in their regular acting career than like a voice acting career. Cool. Meanwhile, Colleen, meanwhile Colleen is like the only actual voice actor from the series. Yeah, uh, I believe actually, who the fuck voices Sonic? But yes, uh, uh not Roger Drake Smith. I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I think it's. I think it's Ben Schwartz. Yeah, no, it's him. He's uh, he plays Dewey in the Ducktales revival. But yeah, no, he is bigger than uh the Tales voice actress. Unfortunately, I forgot her name. <laughs> Colleen Ocean. Oh uh, yeah, Colleen Ocean. or what? Uh, you know. No, uh, thank you. But uh, yeah, she she uh, I believe she was also mentioned for not getting paid enough due to her being more of just a regular voice actor than. Uh, yeah. At the very least, I I'm surprised that like they 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 even paid Ben Schwartz. I forget. His, Oh my god, I just can't. <laughs> but they they paid Sonic's voice actor more than she did, even though they, he also is. I'm pretty sure he's also a voice actor too. It's weird. Ben Schwartz. Uh, mm. I know. He, I mean, he probably he's has like a couple things. he probably has like more regular or like big screen kind of credits in comparison to you know just the Sonic games. Yeah, but uh, either way, it, it's on. It's an unfortunate situation. They're not getting paid enough, and it sucks. Uh, definitely, it's. It's one of those things that they they definitely should get more credit uh, than they do. Because he's he's in Park. He was in Parks and Rec. That yeah okay yeah that makes sense. So he would have a big yeah, like credit big, right there. Yeah he does. Okay yeah no that makes sense. Going for Parks and Rec. Uh, oh, that yeah, mostly Parks and Rec, and then of course the Sonic movie, and then like some other stuff. But like that's like the big one. Okay. Uh, oh he was. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I, I could go into his whole credits, but, like, oh boy. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just saw this tweet by, uh, at Lasersinger saying Funkos are just a toy version of NFT art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, you know what, I, I, that, that hit a little bit on the mark, because I fucking hate Funkos. They're terrible. Anyway, mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, but John DiMaggio, yeah, he explained all that, and... I, honestly, I'm with him. If he's not going to voice Bender because of those reasons, then yeah, fuck him. Mm-hmm. 
I, I mean, it's already bad enough that no one really wants this revival, so I it's just even more no, it's even more reason to not really check it out. I probably won't watch it when it comes out. Maybe like a little bit later, but I don't know. Yeah. Unless it's uber bombs, but that that's rare. But yeah, no, uh, good on John DiMaggio, honestly. That I, you know what, I respect this decision. It's real nice. Yeah, because I mean, shoot, I mean, if you aren't getting paid enough for such a big role, or if you aren't, I mean, heck, even just in general, like voice actors, I feel like do not get enough respect or credits for what they do, they really which don't. is a shame because I mean, it's it's acting, and acting is like you know, even regular regular acting is like a big thing. But now that you take the physical person out of it and just use their voice for it, yeah. it's like all the respect just goes out the window. It's, even though they're doing just as much, if like, it, as than like regular actors. Way. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's unfortunate. So hopefully things get better. Mm -hmm. We can only hope. Uh, and last up, because we unfortunately don't have that much time left, because we do have a time limit on this uh on like episode lengths for our podcast unfortunately but uh last up is it's not really news but it was more this thing i came across while going through like animation community stuff on like on twitter and stuff but i found a kickstarter for this project called lumi in the great big galaxy uh it's tr they're trying to pledge for twenty five thousand dollars and they're basically it's basically like a like a Steven Universe like Wander Over Yonder inspired cartoon. It looks really cute. They uh, uh, if you go to their Kickstarter page, they have like some they have some storyboard stuff, the general idea of what it is, who's gonna be voicing some of the characters. Which is a lot. Uh one of the characters is voiced by Michael Co Kovac? I for I don't know how to say his last name, but he's the uh, I if he did the voice for Angel Dust in Hasbro Hotel. I, I have no idea, but I can definitely see if I can find the information you are referring to. Oh my goodness. This yeah. is like weird, colorful uh if I if I'm yeah, looking no, at I, now. I, I especially it looks like it. some of the design it looks very Steven Universe esque and then like I feel like one of the characters looks like freaking Lilymon. Yeah. Oh wait, actually it looks like it looks like a mix between Steven Universe and fucking like the alien races from like Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm literally looking at the Kickstarter thing, and like the one on the right next to the purple one, yeah. literally looks like Lilymon from Digimon, and I cannot I unsee it. I, like yeah. it is so Lilymon. That's great. Uh, but yeah, I no. love it so much, and I haven't even watched that much Digimon. Yeah, but uh, I just wanted to recommend this because it it seems like a pretty big project, and it looks really nice. I hope it does well. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. Anyone who's interested on probably like giving a dollar. Who is making this? The cast. Yes. Lumi, Lisa uh, Bing, Siona, Ava Hauser, yeah, a, David, a Michael Kovac. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this character looks so like bruh, and like bruh. just so much like bruh. Uh, like, see, Mika, Patrick Mealy. No, that's a lot of voice actors. Right? Felicity, oh my god, the name for the Lilymon is so cute, too. Yeah. Bless. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, check out this, check out the Kickstarter page. If you can give some money, you know, whenever you can. The creator is Star Stardius? Starties. Starties. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna pronounce it like that, because it looks, it's, that's what it looks like to me, and honestly... It sounds like a really cool, funny tea brand. Yeah, but uh, either way, th th their real name is Evan. But other than that, yeah, no, uh, huge shout outs to them. Go check it this out. Hopefully, it does well. I'll, I'll, I'll like retweet it here and there whenever I get the chance. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode of the podcast. Unfortunately, because we don't have that much time left. So if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, like, share, you know, all that stuff on whatever pr platform you're on. Uh, if you enjoyed the intro and outro music, they're, of course, done by 2Mello. He's always linked in the description below. He does fantastic stuff. Please check him out. Uh, other than that, uh, expect a, uh, a, a... You should probably be seeing it now for this new episode, but expect a new logo for Midnight Tunes, a new screen for the YouTube version, and see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye.